Most of my memories I had growing up in the Bronx are good. I grew up on uh, 170th Street and Plimpton Avenue, southern part of the Bronx. And uh, I grew up, I was there till I was six years old. And then, uh, you know, I had a lot of friends. And uh, I know growing up in that neighborhood, if I would have stayed there, uh, instead of moving uptown like I did, I probably have been in the other direction. I probably have been, you know, getting into things I shouldn't be getting into all the way up to when I was a teenager. But when I moved uptown, it's a little bit more. It was supposed to be a better neighborhood. And there was opportunities. I seen people walking by with football uniforms on, things I'd never seen when I was downtown. And uh, one of my friends, he, he played Little League football. And that right there, when I saw him playing Little League football, I asked him, how can I play for the team? I thought it was something I couldn't do. Once I picked up football and played up uh, uh, for a team, that, just, that changed the outlook on my life right there. The one thing I always had was athletics that kept me out of trouble and kept me off the streets. And I'm sure that's the way it was for Sam. And when you have something like that to put your focus into, it takes it takes all that negativity and places it into something positive, and it gives you a chance. Yeah, a lot of people that's in the Bronx, they, they, they know something that bothers me, they either know me or someone in my family, so they know where I'm really from, where they're from. So it's good to go back and let them know that a guy that was in your same situation made it out. You know, I've been with him a couple of times when he go back to the Bronx. You know, a lot of them guys are, you know, happy to see him. You know, like, you know, hey, Sam, how you doing? What's up? You know, high five and everything. How you doing, baby? Doing, huh? Good to see you. You know that. <laughs> it's good to see you, baby. I understand growing up that when you grow up in the Bronx, it's not cool to be uh, flashy. You know, I'm just a little bit more grounded than most people. Uh, I understand what it's like not to have money and to see other people flashing in, in, in your face. How you doing? I had to go back to my school and just be a regular person, but you know, I know I, I really can't be. But you know, I go back and just talk to the kids as if I was with them yesterday, and that's how I like to do it. What's going on, Coach? How you doing, bro? Good to see you. My Coach Gardella right here. It's a man right here. Help me get to where I'm at today. He has that same personality, very, you know, a mild-mannered personality. Not, he really comes out, and that's how he was. He'd come out on the field, and then you'd see the different Sam. What's going on? DWC, man. I used to be, I remember being in this locker, man. I was right over here, man. The only tough guys could be in that locker area over there. I went to the University of Cincinnati, played football there for five years. I got redshirted. I got there, man. I wanted to be a wide out, man. I was, I was mad, man. I wanted to be a wide out. I thought it was going to be Jerry Rice, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when I got there, he was like, yeah, you're going to be a wide receiver. And next thing you know, I'm sitting over there with the defensive backs, and I was mad. And then ever since then, I've been, I've been a safety. So what's up, man? You got any questions? What's going on? When you got to college, you was like skinny. Oh, man, I was frail, man. I was like, I just got to tell him, man. I was here, I was like six feet. I remember I had a roster. I looked at a roster, I was six feet, 145. Man. I was like, oh, I was frail, man. But I, was, I was still hitting people, though. Not really about how strong you are, it's about how big your heart is. That's the truth. I remember one game this season, we were playing New England Patriots. I dropped the pick, man. There's nothing I could do to get that back. And that, that's, like, that's like life right there, man. I, I dropped the interception. And you know, it made me work harder. And I'm now after that, I was out to practice catching balls. But I should've been doing that before. You know what I'm saying? Why well, I gotta wait till something bad to happen for me to step it up? And that, that's life right there. Don't wait for something bad to happen for you to step it up. Any other questions? You don't gotta ask me just about football. Me ask about anything. About but when you go to college, how you should act. My salary, you can't ask me that. That's the only question you can ask me. That's the only thing you can ask me. It was real special because he came from the same things that we coming from, from the Bronx, from DWC, and he made it, so it gives us, like, we believe now that we can do it too. They see him, and they say, you know, we, we have a shot, you know, whether it's to make it into pros or whether it's just to go on to college and just get a great education and stuff and come out and just be in, you know, in any kind of field that they, they choose, but at least, it, you know, it's something for them to look forward to. How I had a goal in life, and for me to get there, for me to make it to college and to do things I wanted to do, uh, I had to set aside some of the fun at the moment for later on in my life.